Hello everyone, this is my second video on what to get someone for Christmas and today it is your dad or father-in-law or a more senior man. I always think that chocolates and alcohol are a good base for presents and my dad loves whiskey so I was going to get him some famous grouse and Toblerone but I ended up finding non-edible presents which is quite good. So, I'll go right in. So, I love UGG. I think they do the best shoes, boots, gloves, scarves, hats, trainers, flip-flops, everything. It's just so comfortable. It is a bit more expensive than average, but not as expensive as, say, you know, Mulberry or expensive, more expensive brown. So, we got him some... Ugg gloves. They are in brown leather and they've got shearling sheepy bits. My dog's just come in. Hello Boo. Hello. Um, shearling, sheep shearling around the wrist and they're sort of cinched at the wrist as well so that they're easy to pull on but they don't come off either. It's got a little Ugg badge but it's not heavily branded in Ugg. My dad was introduced to Ugg when I gave him some slippers in the summer as a thank you for something, can't remember what. And these range, I think, from maybe £90 to £160, but they'll last a really long time. I've had my Ugg gloves for, well, ages, years, and they're so warm and they really warm up my fingers quickly. I don't have to wear them for very long. Sometimes I take them off actually because they're too hot. A pair of socks is always handy, I think, and a pair of good quality socks rather than just trying to get his sock count up because he can just buy some cheap socks from any supermarket. So these socks are £10 each and Alex gets these on a monthly subscription but they had a pop-up shop in Selfridges and I think they have their own shop in London somewhere and Alex loves them, he says they're really good quality and they come in different sizes as well which is good and they're quite long I think you can get longer or shorter but I thought this was fairly average we got these in dark navy because my dad's not going to wear any sort of crazy colour socks and it's got a cool logo of an English gentleman this brand is quite new, I think it's only a year old but Alex loves these socks and my dad would never buy himself a pair of £10 socks. He would buy six socks for £10, so I thought that was a good present. Then we wanted to spend the same amount on my mum and my dad, and we'd spent a little bit more on my mum than my dad, so we, were, we had about £35 to £40 left budget-wise, so we were going to get him whiskey and Toblerone. But on Black Friday, this was reduced from £50, which I still think is a bargain, to £35, so I got it. And my dad already has an iPad, but I feel like the Kindle Fire is a lot more robust and you can add memory to it. So it comes with eight gigabytes of memory, but you can add a micro SD card for up to 128 gigabytes. And obviously you can swap those cards around as well. So you could have lots of photos on a card and carry on swapping it. He, my dad also has Amazon Prime accounts, so I think he gets like TV programs and films and stuff which he can watch easily on here. It's much easier to read a book on here than it is on your iPad, I think. And it comes with audiobooks, plus my dad is really in love with his iPad and he never lets his grandchildren touch it, or any of us touch his iPad. So I think that this will be a good grandchild-friendly thing to have. And it's just like a little extra thing. I don't think it hurts to have too much technology, especially if you're a man. And I know my dad likes to play with things on Christmas Day, so that's quite good. And then from the dog, we got him this pointless game, the mini travel game. It was eight pounds. And he likes watching this game. And basically, if you don't know what the game is, then you, you get asked a question and you have to try and guess the answer that got the least amount of points. So they surveyed 100 people, and whatever the answer came out least, then you want to try and get that answer. So it's sort of like Family Fortunes or Family Feud, but the opposite. So one of the examples they give is the Monopoly board, and 
the go go to prison square um, is comes up a lot with answers, but the just visiting only one or two people say said that. So you'd get. Does this make sense? I'm not very good at explaining games, but you want to get an answer that's pointless. You want to get an answer that no one has said in the survey, and it's a fun little game. So, oh, and I also got him a personalised Marmite pot because he loves Marmite and so does my nephew and my mum always complains that my dad eats my nephew's Marmite in the house. So I got my dad his own pot and it says his name on it and that was £5 from a Marmite pop-up shop. Ah, oh, the rubbish men have just come. It's quite late. And, but I don't know where that is. It's somewhere around but I think that's quite a cool little extra thing. And that's what we got my dad, so I hope that's helpful, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!